Suppose that there are two events that could cause a garden's grass to be wet. Either the sprinkler is on or it's raining. When it rains, the sprinkler is not usually turned on. Let's model this situation with a Bayesian network. Once you start the SpiceLogic Bayesian Doctor, click the Bayesian Network button. You will see this canvas. Drag this circle into the canvas to create a node. Double-click this node to edit the name. Name it Sprinkler. Drag another node in the canvas and name it Rain. You know what? You can double-click on this canvas to create a node as well. I just double-click to get this new node. Let's name it Grass Wet. There is another way to add a node. Click on your right mouse button on the canvas and you will see a context menu. Click Add New Node. Anyway, we do not need this extra node, so let's delete it. The variable rain affects the event sprinkler on or off. Rain is also affecting the situation grass wet. Let's connect these variables accordingly. The event grass wet also depends on the variable sprinkler. So connect another arrow from the sprinkler node to the grass wet node. Now is the time to set probabilities. Say there is a 20% chance of rain. So select the node rain and set the probability accordingly. Now let's set the conditional probabilities for the variable sprinkler. Set the node sprinkler and you will see this table. Say the probability of getting sprinkler on if the rain is true is 0.01 and the probability that the sprinkler is on if the rain is false is 0.4. Now, select the node grass wet. Let's set the conditional probability for the grass wet variable. If the sprinkler is false, and if the rain is false as well, then there is zero probability that the grass will be wet. So set zero in this box. If the rain is false, and if the sprinkler is true, then there is a 90% probability that the grass will be wet. Then, if the rain is true and if the sprinkler is true as well, then there is a 99% chance that the grass will be wet. On the other hand, if the rain is true and the sprinkler is false, then the probability of the grass wet is 80%. Congratulations! Our Bayesian network modeling is complete. Now, we can perform various queries on the network. First, notice the numbers on the node. These numbers indicate marginal probabilities for the concerned state, as you can see from the tooltip. You can change the state that you are concerned about from here. Now, see the number on this node changed. Okay, let's query the network. Say you want to query. What is the probability that rain is true, given grass wet is true? Click this query button to open the query window. Check rain and select true with the given variable grass wet true. You can change various query parameters to see how the calculated result changes. Let's find another joint probability that rain is true and grass wet is false. Okay, let's close this window. Say you observe that the grass is wet. You can include that information to update your belief. It is called instantiation. Select the node grass wet and you will see this pop up for instantiating the variable. Notice that when you instantiated the grass wet variable to true, the probability of rain equals true is automatically calculated and displayed in the rain node. You can see that the rain node is showing a probability close to 36%. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please feel free to reach us if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.